Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be on what I take in my first aid kit. First aid kit. Um, this is everything I take when I uh, go hiking or uh, camping, regardless of if it's one day camp or a multi day camp or just a day hike. This always comes with me. Um, it's got enough things to cover for myself, my wife, the kids, um, anybody else that comes with me. There should be enough in here uh, to cover people. Um, so I'm just going to quickly wait and have everything in. It's 922 grams, um, which is a kilogram in weight nearly. So again, I'm comfortable carrying it. My other gear I do um, get it down, I've got all the weight down on my other gear, so with this, it's essential for me, if I'm honest. So I'm just going to open it up and show you what's inside. Right, so the first thing I've got is some sun cream and it's uh, factor 50, so that should just be one coat. And that should do you plenty. I did more than end to end, and I wish I'd have put this in my bag. Um, I didn't get it till after <laughs> afterwards, and I was burnt. I was as red as my shirt. So the first thing I've got is a little tub of Vaseline. So we all know what that's for. That's for a little bit of chafing, or you could put some on your lips to protect your lips from the sun rays. Um, it just helps with anything else, really. Uh, next is some Savalon, which is antiseptic cream. Again, that's for bites, um, any rubs or anything like that that you've got. Uh, that should help for that. Uh, then I've got um, some bandage, which obviously is for any sprains, cuts, breaks, wrist supports, anything like that and I've got a tough brush which is not really first aid but I've left it in here because uh, when I did Hadrian's wall last year it's been in there since then so that's just kept in there so I know where it is and I ain't forgetting it next is deep freeze so that's good for, um, it says on here, cooling relief for sprains, strains, joints, foot and muscle pain. So that's what that does. And the next one I've got is Deep Heat. Um, this is for muscular and aches, pains and stiffness. So if you've done a day's hike, the next day if you've got any uh, pulls or anything like that or any niggles on your and your legs that's good stuff um that got used quite a lot on adrian's wall uh, richard used it who i went with um and also i use it on my legs as well for the second day because our legs was absolutely gone um next thing i've got in here is a set of shoelaces just in case anything snaps on your walk again it's not really first day but if your shoelaces snap it's nice to always have a spare set of shoelaces in there. Um, that's a tough paste, so obviously go with a tough brush. Next is a little tin of links. Again, just to keep you freshen up on your multi-day hikes. So that's really on the toiletry section. Um, next is some Dove shower gel, again, for the same reasons. Depending on how many days you're doing, if you're doing things like coast to coast, 
uh, Cleveland Way, Cotswold Way, anything that's got very long days. Um, again, it's just nice to have that. If you get a chance to freshen up in a, in a, a shower anywhere, then that's great for you. Um, obviously, what's going on at the mini? Hand sanitizer, which is always good once you've also done your business in the woods or wherever you are. Um, I've got some tenacious tape as well. Okay. More bandage. And then wad loads of plasters. Uh, got big plasters, waterproof plasters, heel plasters. Um, again, more heel plasters, waterproof plasters. Just never have enough when you get them little cuts, because them little cuts could turn to something a bit more serious. Uh, I've got a tri band, so that's obviously using uh, for a sling or anything like that. What else we got in here? Uh, more bandage. Oh, there's my other sun cream, which is just factor 15. Um, I put that in towards, I kept it for when I went to Snowdonia with uh, Dave Outdoors and John. I thought that would be alright for that, so I'll use that one. Um, emergency blanket, never know when you're going to need one of them. Uh, tick removers, if you can see that. Obviously if you're going in places that you don't know um, and you get a tick, it's always handy to have one of them. What else we got? Uh, bites and sting creams. Again, when you're walking around in the in the in the fields, um, there's bugs everywhere. So it's nice to put some of that on if you case you get some bites, keep keep the bites down. Stops you itching as well and, and, and everything else. Uh, more plasters. Some more tape for ankles and feet. Keep the uh, keep the blisters at, at bay. What else have I got? Some um, anti mosquito wipes. So you can use them um, to prevent. It's soothing and prevention of wipes. Of, of wipes of mosquito bites even. So that keeps the mozzies away. Um, Got some um, safety pins, um, some gloves in case I come across anybody who's actually cut themselves and everything. So obviously, you don't your their blood on your hands. So some uh, vinyl gloves in there for you. Uh, then I've got some burn shield. So obviously, if you're doing bushcrafty type. Um, Camps, or even just using your whatever you use your jet boils, your Primus stoves, all your stoves. If you get a burn, a fire burn off the ignition or something like that, again, that just put that on and that will cool all your hand down. And uh, then you just cover it over with a plaster. That should hopefully help with the burn. What else have I got? Uh, some scissors. And some tape to tape any bandages on or plasters and I've got some paracetamol some ibuprofen more plasters those are blister plasters um, they're proper proper blister plasters if you can see that got the shape of a dog bone what else I've uh, got a lighter, always keep a spare lighter with me. And some eye wash. So obviously if you get any grit or sand in your eye, um, it's always handy to have one of them. And that can just blow out any, any dust and get sat there nice and fresh. So um, that is everything. I know it's a lot, but like I say, um, I use a lot of it like I say, deep, the uh, deep heat and the soothing gel, deep freeze, I use all that. Um, obviously emergency blankets, toothpaste, toothbrush and everything else is just, it's just hygiene really.
but that is what I'll take. Um, hopefully, if there's anything I've missed that you think I should have in here, um, just drop a comment below. Um, I think I've covered all bases for a couple of days hike. Um, like I say, probably take some more proceeds to more than the ibuprofen. But again, if you come across any chemist pharmacies, anything that you've used or you're running out of, top it up if you can at supermarkets or pharmacies, anything, super drugs, anything you can, get them all topped up. Um, so that is what I take with my uh, first aid kit. So it's just a quick video, just to show you what I'm taking. Uh, anything hopefully can help some of you if you think, oh, that's a good idea. I never thought of doing that and doing this. But uh, yeah, hopefully it helps. So um, that's my first aid kit. I'm Adam T Outdoors saying see you later. Thanks for watching. Just like and subscribe if you'd like to. See you later.